<sighs> Traxxas Spartan box. Uh, about three and a half feet, almost four feet, 43 inches. That is a monstrosity of a box that I just picked up at my local hobby store, PM Hobbycraft. Uh, their, their website is pmhobbycraft.com, of course. It's where I always get my RCs locally. And people have been asking me to get into boats for a long time. In fact, I had a Miss Geico, um, but it wasn't the right, or a Miss Elam, that's what I had. It wasn't the right type of boat for what I wanted to learn on. Now, I'm not saying I've never boated before, but I wanted something that I could take into a stream. Now this one, apart from going uh, 6S LiPo, <laughs> which is like a complete racing boat, uh, this one is gonna be a good one to learn on because it's a V-Haul and I'm not gonna be really out on straight glass type of lakes, right? So I don't really want a hydroplane boat. But at the same time, I want to have the ability, as I learn, to actually uh, amp up the power, of course. This, I believe, is the second generation Traxxas Spartan. I don't, I'm not 100% sure, but I know it's not the first gen. This is the one that came after, uh, which means they had an upgraded ESC. Hold on. Ah. Now, at PM Hobbycraft, I got this for under $500. I've always wanted one. I've been scoping them out for the longest time. Uh, and really, the manager at the North Store when I went there, Anthony, he's one of my good friends and owned him a long time. He actually races boats. He said, the only thing I want to be concerned about with this for someone like me that's a newbie is that it is a plastic hull on the inside, but I'm going to sidestep that. Uh, we got a way to fix that. But he said, this would be great if I was in a stream, not a river, <laughs> like my buddy Crawler Ted, who has had his boats succumb to the river many times. Uh, you know, I was going to get a tear into boat. I have two of them. They're just little small jet boats. I just have haven't had the time to actually uh, um, do a conversion on those, right? You've got to upgrade the electronics and whatever. Ah, okay, Traxxas Spartan does 50 miles Ooh, all out. Look at this 36 inch deep V brushless boat. I haven't done an unboxing video in quite some time. I figured this would be a nice treat. I could have just unboxed it and went and had some fun, but I know you guys love seeing what gets unboxed. Well, here at least. Now, radio. I'll gently lift it out. Er, er, er. I want to be careful of the tip of the hull. Okay, TQI radio. Seems pretty simple. I'll have to write on the bottom. It's for the Spartan. Come on, big fella. Wow. I have a feeling that I'm going to love boating just as much as I love um, flying. Flying is also a passion of mine. I just don't get to do it often enough. There we go. Now, but the reason I have it flipped upside down now, of course, is I don't want to wreck the rudder or the propeller. Take it out here. Ooh. Wow. If I can fit it right. That would be built for speed, all right. And I can see why he'd be concerned with hitting the hull on the rocks. Now, of course, I'll be reading the instruction book before I do anything. <laughs> Let's get you guys inside to have a look on the inside. I haven't even seen it yet, but I know you guys will want to see it with me. Wow, battery packs are already in. Upgraded ESC VXL 6S Marine. Waterproof servos for the rudder. Well, servo, pardon me. Looks like it's almost ready to go. Important, warning, warning. Read instruction book. <laughs> 
course, here is the instruction book that I'll be going through, finding out what's going on. Wow. Okay, so four batteries in the uh, radio, pretty standard stuff. There's a look at the inside, tells you all the parts that you need, how to identify everything. Looking straight back to the rudder and the propeller. Have a look at that. That is pretty gnarly looking. Stabilizers. Very nice. The water cooling, of course. Straight up, you can see the tube that runs from the ESC to the motor, right? It has a water cooling system that goes through there. This must be where the water is exiting, or is it? Is that where it enters? One or the other. I haven't, since I've never boated before, this is something that I'll be learning about as well. There is the uh, boat shaft in the bottom. I've been watching these particular boats uh, run on YouTube now for uh, several years. I remember when they came out with this boat, it was, you know, the one to have. And I think in a lot of ways, check this out, I think it still is. Uh, and for me to learn on something like this is awesome. But learning is exactly that, right? I'm certainly no pro at boating and I'll be taking her slow to begin with, which means uh, I'll probably keep these uh, uh, nickel metal hydride batteries in for a while before I move to a 4S LiPo, nothing too crazy. And also the hull, right? I was told to get some waterproof tape. Ba -ba. This, I don't know, is waterproof. I'm pretty sure it will turn out to be. This is uh, Gorilla Tape, clear tape, and I'll tell you, it's super, super thick. So I'll run some tests with it first, right? It's very thick. And I figure if I actually run the hull, right, along the sides or maybe on the bottom, that that should actually give it a little bit of protection if I hit a rock going at a variable speed. Shouldn't hurt me that bad, I would hope. But you never know, if you're hitting rocks with plastic, well, then you're pretty much asking for it anyway. Check it out, hey, sure is slick looking. Now, I am looking forward to boating. Um, I've been wanting to do boating for, well, many years. It's just a matter of when do I get the time to do it, right? Well, this season, I wanna head out to the creeks at least. And if this doesn't turn out to be the right boat for it, and this is really something you know that I should be out racing with, then I'll certainly give that a try and try finding a different uh, uh, boat for the creek. But PM Hobbycraft always has new stuff coming in there and I'm happy to look at it. So I'll do some more research. If anybody has experience with these boats, uh, you know, and it's fairly uh, close to the time of the posting this video, please post up your comments down below. Let me know your experience, if there's anything I have to be careful about uh, uh, or any advice that you might have for me. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next RC adventure.